It's far from uncommon in Massachusetts for schools to use Native American names and images for their sports teams and logos. In fact, dozens of them do. But should they? State lawmakers are considering a bill that would ban Native American imagery and team names like Redskins and Redmen. But if you think this debate is one-sided, you would be wrong. Joining me are Gene Whedon, he's a descendant of the Apache and Narragansett tribes and contributing editor for the Massachusetts Center for Native American Awareness. He opposes the ban. Gene, it's good to meet you. Thanks so much. And Jason Pacano, a citizen of the Mandan, Hidatsa, and Arakara Nation. Did I get that right? Arakara. Thank you. <laughs> Supports uh, the ban. Thanks so much. Jason, why is it a good idea, the ban? Um, well, I think that, you know, I think it's problematic when you have... Um, sort of free reign where people are just allowed to do whatever they want with a, with a mascot or with an image when it's really based on people. Uh, I think the, the business of using people as mascots is just something that shouldn't be done. Any people? I think so, unless, unless there's some sort of you know, agreement or some sort of consultation. But again, you get into these very murky waters. I mean, if you're, just, if you're using a pan name like Indians, um, you can invite a whole bunch of, of negative impacts. Um, if you're thinking about like NCAA teams like the Seminoles or the Utes of Utah, um, you know those those groups, you know, or those schools have direct consultation with those tribes. Are you offended by the use of these names? Um, it, it's a it's a great concern to me because I see their negative impacts. Gene, why are you against the ban? Well, uh, the town in which I live, Amesbury, mm -hmm. we have a high school, uh, the Amesbury Fighting Indians. And the emblem is a Mohawk warrior emblazoned on a red jacket. Uh, strikes me as being very honorable, very respective. Uh, and I want to say that uh, the effigy of my people has always been uh, an icon, an American icon. And it's synonymous with America and freedom. I don't take offense in it. But do you, do you consider the different uh, mascots or logos to be different? For example, I have to say, uh, uh, pick the highest profile debate about this, the Redskins for Washington. That doesn't trouble, trouble you? Myself, personally, no, it does not. Uh, what if they were called, you've heard this before, what if they were called the Washington Jews or the Washington Blacks? Well, Was that, why is that any different? Why, what, would that trouble you? Well, it could. Um, but why? What, what's the difference? The difference would be derogatory. It's derogatory to refer to a Jew as a Jew. Well, then blacks. It's not derogatory to refer to an African American as a black person. Well, what if it's it was the Washington you, it's, blacks? It's in the context you want to talk, talk about it. I mean, what not, intent just, is in that kind of thing you're saying, yes? Yeah. You know, the inter, I, the, the, I picked up the Redskins mm -hmm. thing, uh, and I saw a poll. I know you've been asked this a thousand times. Let's mm -hmm. make it a thousand and one. Okay. They did a poll. Ninety percent of Native Americans, not the general population, said they were totally untroubled. And, by, and you're the outlier, essentially, according to that poll. According to the poll, according to the Washington Post, uh, I'm, I'm the outlier. But that's not how I see it. I mean, I think if you go into many online communities, even um, with... Um, with Native people or even just speaking amongst Native people themselves, I mean, you'll, you'll find a very, very different viewpoint. I mean, you'll, you'll find a diverse amount of viewpoints, but, it, but an overwhelmingly amount, large amount of Native Americans have a problem with the word does, Redskins. Does intent matter? I mean, we started talking about this a, a minute ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, most people who I find who are not upset with this, who are not Native American, mm -hmm. Don't say I'm okay with the Redskins or the Warriors because uh, I'm some sort of racist dog. They say I'm okay with it because I sort of like the name. It celebrates a tradition that, mm -hmm. frankly, has been ignored by much of the population, meaning the Native American heritage in this country. I'm not saying you have agree with it, but does intent matter in, in 2017 or is, is it doesn't matter at all? As, as I testified on Tuesday, you know, that's it's, you know, people will, will sort of counter and say, well, we're honoring you. But what are you honoring? You're honoring sort of an inaccuracy. Um, a large part of um, people or, stu or schools that use native mascots are using this plain style Indian to represent all of native people. Um, and th to me, that's, that's problematic because native people are so diverse. I mean, I'm, I'm from North Dakota, but I'm also from New Mexico. And there is no, there's no teepees in our culture. Is there any room, we only have a minute left, is there any room for compromise here? I mean, one of the things that's incredible to me is this thing doesn't get settled. This is like an every year occurrence, mm -hmm. nationally, locally. It seems that sane people should be able to come to some sort of agreement. Is there room for yes, agreement? Yes, there is. What's the compromise? Well, the first thing that should be done is this, is prioritize 
um, a remedy to this what and identify it? the problem. The problem among our people is not a mascot. It's poverty, drunkenness, drug addiction, uh, violence, lack of jobs. So you're saying in the grand scheme of things, this in the is grand not scheme of things. Do you, I assume you agree with that, yes or no, or no? Or is this symbol matter a huge amount it's symbol, as well? It matters because it, 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 it tackles a lot of things. Um, systemic racism, uh, colonialism, all of those different types of things, and I know he's shaking his head. Well, he's entitled to shake his head. <laughs> well, we didn't resolve this tonight, gentlemen, but we're going to stay with us. Uh, Jason, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure Good to meet luck, you. Gene. Same mm -hmm. to you. Uh, Thank you for your time. We should have had more time. Well, we'll do it again, I promise <laughs> I hope you. So. Unless you resolve it, which I hope you do.